currently my funding is part of a state budget um, because it's my lab startup. So as, as far as being recently hired, the university invests a certain amount of money for new professors to start up their labs. Um, and then additionally, um, I compete for external funding. So the sequestration actually affects us in various ways. So even though it doesn't immediately impact the dollar amount that's already been set aside, so it, another way it impacts us is, you know, when we apply for funding, there are particular deadlines that are set periodically throughout the year. Um, so during the time of sequestration and the, and the impact of the government shutdown, basically NIH shut down. So the actual grant writing process was interrupted on our end because there was no one there to receive the grant applications. Now, you know, it's already competitive enough. What gives us an advantage to some degree is that it's spread out on, on, across three different cycles. So we don't all compete simultaneously for the same dollars. We compete in blocks of time. And so if there's a block that's eliminated, then that increases the competition of already limited dollars for the other blocks of time. Now for the medical student, most of the medical students between the first and second year will engage um, during their summer in some sort of scholarly activity, oftentimes what we would call uh, uh, research of discovery. And they will work with the scientists, they may work with a uh, public health scientist, they may work with a laboratory scientist, they may work with a, a number of different people. So that sense of inquiry, learning the sense of inquiry which they will then apply um, later on to their medical practice is important. If we don't get funding, I wouldn't be able to allow as many students to work in my lab uh, because it costs money to buy these reagents for them to do the experiments. Um, and I think that eventually you'll start seeing a decline in the competitiveness of our students. You know, if they don't have the opportunity to be exposed to research because there's not enough funding or not enough security in the funding, um, yeah, I think that that would be detrimental to say the least.